Hello everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're focusing on the um, NHL live streaming games via Twitter. Them and Major League Baseball will be doing it, and they're two. Those are, in my eyes, the two sports that need it the most because hockey will always be, you know, the number four sport among the uh, the big, you know, big four in North America. And baseball is losing more and more fans. It seems like every year. I mean, the games are too long. And I think baseball has done a really, really shitty job at promoting its young stars. I mean, there is some generational talent, you know, at such every position right now. You know, you're looking at the Bryce Harpers of the world, then, you know, the Mike Trout, Clayton Kershaw, even like Fernandez in Miami, John Carlos Stan. I mean, there's so much great talent. And obviously, you know, the, the best shortstop of all time is Andrew Bogarts. Uh, so, baseball's done a piss poor job at marketing its young stars. And hockey, you know what? The same thing. The Edmonton Oilers are playing one game on national TV in the United States next year. Uh, Connor McDavid. Ever heard of him? Pretty good. Kind of a guy you might want to market a little bit. You might want to sell people, yeah, look, we get this guy, McDavid. He's really good. You, you might want to watch him play. So, you know, putting free games on Twitter, you know, and, and allowing fan, you know, you, it, making it, um, you know, more interactive via, you know, tweets about games and all, you know, you can tweet what you're saying, share thoughts and opinions. And uh, I think it's going to be a, a good. A, uh, a good fit for, for the NHL and for uh, and for Twitter. You know, Twitter is looking to uh, shake things up a bit, and you know, I think doing this would be pretty cool. And I think having that kind of uh, forum where you know you can watch a game and you know tweet it, you know, have everyone tuning in, which I know is the same as live tweeting anyway. But to have it there, I know it's gonna be black, it's gonna be pain in the ass, but you know, I think it's it's a good thing for for hockey, and uh, you know, hopefully it helps grow the game. And likewise, Major League Baseball. You know, I'd be trying to get as many times, you know, like if Kershaw, I know Kershaw, Clint Kershaw's right now, but, um, you know, if Jake Arrieta's on a great run for the Chicago Cubs, you know, anytime there's an eight, Steve Strasburg in Washington, anytime like one of those guys is on the bump, you might want to market that game and maybe like people watch it for free so they can be like, oh shit, you know, and again, there's just so, between baseball and hockey, there's so much great young talent in the game, games, that uh, both leagues would be foolish to uh, not market it and, you know, Put in a position where uh, people can tune in and watch these talented youngsters. And likewise, the NHL's biggest mistake, as much as I like NBC, was gravitating away from uh, ESPN because, you know, it's the number one sports channel in the United States, number one sports network, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And, you know, hockey's kind of got lost in the shuffle. So, and we'll see how, uh, how social media, how the, the league and social media integrate and come together. But anyway, that's all I got. So to the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. I guess.